Today is an important day for Vanuatu as we come together as a new government committed to improving the lives and future of our citizens. My government's highest priority is to ensure our team and leadership delivers a safe and secure home and more hope for the future than what we had yesterday. Climate change is the single greatest threat we face as a nation, exacerbating and compounding all other issues we face in health, education, infrastructure, and sustainable development. Vanuatu is not responsible for the climate crisis, yet it threatens our very existence as a sovereign nation. Climate change is undermining the fundamental human rights of our island people and communities and threatens the future of our next generations. Today, I am pleased to announce our new government will spare no effort to see climate justice and human rights put at the front and centre of global climate action. We want to strengthen international climate cooperation through legal clarity from the world's highest court. This important campaign will help us save the Paris Agreement which agreed to protect our future by slowing global warming, but has yet to be fully implemented, sadly, around the world. Vanuatu remains fully committed to taking the climate emergency to the United Nations International Court of Justice. We will ask the world's highest court to give us clarity on what all countries must do under their existing international law obligations to protect human rights from climate impacts. We know that more can be done, and so it is time to bring legal tools and motivations to keep us below 1.5 degrees. We are immensely grateful for the support of our fellow champion countries who have drafted the resolution together over the last year. I congratulate and thank them for showing that developed and developing countries can work together effectively on complex legal climate issues. These countries and others have worked within the mandate of formal endorsements from the leaders of the Caribbean, CARICOM, the Pacific, PIF, and the Organization of African, Caribbean, and Pacific States, OECPS. All of these groups, I congratulate for their foresight and ambition. We expect the draft to be released to the public in a matter of days, and for all United Nations member countries to contribute constructively to ensure the question we asked to the court will be impactful and bring us forward on global climate change. My new government and I wholeheartedly thank the incredible global support offered to date, including by more than 85 nations who have already committed to adopting a climate justice resolution at the United Nations General Assembly in the coming months. I would also like to acknowledge the ongoing work of more than 1,500 NGOs and civil society organizations who are backing Vanuatu's initiative and fighting to bring justice to the most vulnerable suffering from climate change around the world. For those nations who have not yet committed to supporting our resolution, we humbly ask you, to listen to the plight and pleas of your young people. Youth have not contributed at all to global warming, and it is difficult for us as parents and as leaders to explain to them why some states are not yet acting to protect their future. I also wish to acknowledge and thank our near neighbour and friend, Australia, who has always been there for us in our time of need. Australia has come to our aid after climate-related disasters such as the devastating cyclones Pam, Harold and others. I am asking Australia to be there for us, again now, to help prevent future climate-related disasters by supporting our resolution, seeking an advisory opinion at the International Court of Justice to help protect our human rights. I also ask that Australia recognize the dire need and mobilize new and additional finance to address the loss and damage we are now suffering. As our sea levels rise, our cyclones get stronger, 
we live every day knowing too well that if greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise, nothing we do will be able to prevent the permanent losses and damages of global warming. I therefore call today as the new head of the government of the Republic of Vanuatu, for all leaders from around the world to support the resolution on climate change and human rights at the United Nations General Assembly. Faftai Polaba and God bless you all.